Part three, how did I become that blind? When I went to elementary school is when I learned that I was different. We find ourselves in so many different challenges. In this case, I had no idea that I was different from everybody else. I had no idea that having hearing aids and the, my voice sounds so weird and so awkward. I'll never forget going to recess in kindergarten and going outside to play and the kids would say, you're the boy with the box. You're the boy with the box. And I thought, why are they saying that to me? But I had no idea what this was gonna do to me, emotionally, mentally, physically. But I knew it was developing an anger, a frustration, an annoyance. When I was told that I was gonna be the boy with the box, I decided, you know, I might take this into my own hands, which is not a good thing either. Have you found yourself in a situation where you were being made fun of and you thought there was no hope? I want you to reach out and private message me and say, Kelvin, I need somebody to encourage me today. Help me through this challenge that I'm facing. You are like this question. You're being shaped and molded through life. But the question is, how are you gonna allow yourself to be shaped? We gotta be like the clay and become centered. That's exactly what my mom was doing for me. It's helping me be centered so I can deal with some of the pain of it. And it almost became too late. So stay tuned for part four.